what we're looking at today is what happens when we divide two complex numbers. When we have the division of complex numbers, we do the same things as what we would when we're trying to simplify fractions. Especially when we have a complex number on the bottom, what we want to do is we want to multiply both the denominator and the numerator by the complex conjugate. This is kind of similar to rationalizing fractions when they have thirds at the base. We do this because it allows us to find the real and imaginary parts of complex numbers, to solve equations, and to write complex numbers in the form z equals a plus ib rather than something on the denominator. Let's have a look at some examples. Example one, what are the real and imaginary parts of the following complex number? I have one over three minus two i. So what we need to do here is multiply the numerator and denominator by the complex conjugate of the base. And hence, we should be able to express this number as something like a plus b i. So we can easily see a would be the real part and b would be the imaginary part. So I'm going to say we're going to rationalize, but really we're just going to times by the conjugate. Let's do that to start. So the conjugate means we flip the middle sign of our complex number. So I'll get instead of 3 minus 2i, I'm going to multiply everything by 3 plus 2i. On the numerator, I'm just going to be left with 3 plus 2i. On the bottom, remember you can use your FOIL method and the middle term should cancel out. So I'll get 9, let's just check they do, minus 6i plus 6i from the 2 time i times 3. And then we'll get minus 4i squared from minus 2i times positive 2i. What we see is the minus 6i and the plus 6i cancel out, and the i squared is really just negative 1. So we sub that in. On the top, it remains the same. On the denominator, we get 9 minus 4 times minus 1. That just becomes 9 plus 4. So I have 3 plus 2i, 9 plus 4 is 13. This is not quite of the form a plus bi yet, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate this complex number into two parts. I'm going to put the 3 over 13 plus the 2i over 13. Now I can clearly see my real part or my part a. That will be 3 over 13. And my part that is imaginary will be the part the coefficient of the i, which is 2 over 13. And we are done. The next question is again similar, but this time we're just going to express the following complex number in the form a plus ib. So we really want to get rid of everything on that denominator and just have hopefully a number on the denominator, if anything rather than anything complex. The first thing let's do, let's expand. So on the top I have 3 times 2 is 6, and 3 times minus i, so minus 3i. On the denominator, i times 1 is i, i times 2i is positive 2i squared. Recall that the i squared is minus 1, so on the denominator I'll get 2 times minus 1 plus i, and now we've got to make it in the form of a plus bi or ib by rationalizing in inverted commas. Times the bottom and the top by the conjugate. So if my base is minus 2 plus i, I'm going to times both by minus 2 minus i, just flipping that middle sign. Then we have to expand, so use foil on the top we'll get minus 12 plus 6i minus 6i. And then positive 3i times 
negative i will become a positive. So we'll get positive 3i squared. On the denominator, so remember the middle two terms will cancel out in our FOIL process. So we'll just be left with minus 2 times minus 2, that's 4. And then the i times minus i, which is minus i squared. Let's simplify the numerator, see what we can cancel out. And this is an interesting one. So notice on the numerator, 6i minus 6i, well, that will cancel. And the 3i squared will replace i squared with minus 1. I will get 3 times minus 1. Similarly, on the denominator, swap the i squared from minus 1, and we should spit out minus 12 minus 13 on the numerator, and then 4 plus 1, or 5 on the denominator. That will give me minus 15 over 5, which equals minus 3. To write minus 3 as a complex number, I can just write it as minus 3 plus, well, there's no imaginary parts, so I can write it as plus 0i. Last example. Solve the following for z, where z is a complex number. Similar to algebra, we're going to make z the subject of the equation and simply move everything else to the other side by using opposite actions. So we need to have z equals, hopefully, some complex number on the other side. The first thing that I want to do, I notice I have 2 minus i times z, so I'm going to divide both sides by the complex number 2 minus i. Now, instead of stopping here, we've got to rationalize the denominator multiplying by the conjugate of the denominator. We get z equals 42i times 2 plus i, and the denominator is the same. I'm going to multiply my denominator by 2 plus i. On the numerator, we'll get 42 times 2, that's 84i. Then 42i times i, that will be 42i squared. On the denominator, we'll get 2 times 2 is 4. And then minus 1i one, minus one times 1i, one well, that will just give me minus i squared. Again, replace minus 1 everywhere you see an i squared. On the numerator, we'll get 84i. The minus 1 times 42. On the denominator, I'll get 4 minus minus 1. Then all you have to do is clean this up. On the top, we have 84i minus 42. And on the denominator, we have 4 plus 1 is just 5. And then again, I'm going to separate to make sure it's of the form a constant plus or minus a coefficient with i. So I take minus 42 over 5 plus 84 over 5i. Now this is in the correct form. This is referring to 16b and 16c of the chapter 